Good morning everyone. Today's lesson for grade 5, chapter 10, lesson 6, multiply fractions. Page number is 739. I hope you guys having your books in your hands. If not, stop this video, take out your books, pens and pencils and get ready to take the new lesson. And boys, uh, before starting today's lesson, don't forget to subscribe my channel Learn Math with Mr. Saad and press the bell icon to get notified for every new video so you guys don't need to wait for the links okay let us start today's lesson multiply fractions let's say we have two fractions 3 over 5 and 1 over 2 so what we do multiply the numerators 3 times 1 then the numerator of the first one with the numerator of the second one 3 times 1 and the denominator of the first one with the denominator of the second one 5 times 2 so 3 times 1, that is 3. 5 times 2, that is 10. So the answer for this one, let me choose the marker to write it here. 3 times 1, 3. And 5 times 2, that is 10. Can we simplify this? No, we cannot. Okay. Let us move down here. Uh, boys, they are telling you two ways here. Uh, let me tell you all of them okay here they have to multiply 3 over 4 times 2 over 3 multiply the numerators with the numerator and denominator with the denominator 3 times 2 that is 6 and 4 times 3 that is 12 then we can simplify this divide by 12 6 6 divide 6 1 and 12 divide 6 2 here is the answer the other way they are saying first of all simplify first and then add so how you simplify first you can cut this 3 with 3 3 times 1 3 3 times 1 3 and you can cut this 2 with 2 times 1 and 2 times 2 so what's left up 1 times 1 that is 1 2 times 1 that is 2 whatever the way you like first multiply the numerators with numerators and denominators with denominators and then simplify or first simplify and then multiply so whatever the way you like you can do that okay uh, let us move to the next page here again the same thing they are finding the area of a rectangle with the length of 3 over 4 inch and 5 or 9 you guys know how to find the area of a rectangle boys length times width so I multiply the length with the width the numerators with the numerators 3 times 5 15 4 times 9 36 15 over 36 we can simplify this divide by 3 divide by 3 15 divide 3 that is 5 and 36 divide 3 that is 12 okay let us move down here very simple boys 1 times 1 1 7 times 2 14 we cannot simplify let us try these this question here uh, this one they are saying will the product of 2 over 9 times 1 over 3 be the same as the product of 2 over 9 times 2 over 6 let us see 2 over 9 2 times 1 that is I'm solving it here boys 2 and 9 times 3 27 can I simplify this no okay let us solve this is here boys let me solve this one here 2 times 2 that is 4 and 9 times 6 now that is what boys 54 can I simplify this yes I can simplify divide by 2 divide by 2 4 divide 2 2 and 54 divide 2 27 so you guys can see that these two are same let us move to the next page let me clear the screen for you guys okay boys here the same thing doing again where is the eraser to clear the screen multiply the numerators with the numerators and denominators with the denominators and 
uh, the final answer and then to simplify okay uh, boys this is independent practice try to finish it by yourself first and then match your answers from this video okay and any questions any suggestion you can write in the comment box here they're telling you about the commutative property that and the identity property like if you get the same thing that is equal to 1 the same numerator and denominator that is equal to 1 to multiply with the same one up and down to find the equivalent fractions okay boys finish your classwork and also the homeworks and send me your homeworks uh, through pioneer and any questions any suggestions uh, write in the comment box have a nice day thank you so much